it's a brand new synth from Artoria and I will fully cards on the table. I've only had this for a day and some stuff came up in real life that I meant I can't get this full review in but I wanted to come in and sort of hit the first wave just because I think it's a really interesting machine. For those of you who uh, don't know what I'm talking about, this is the Mini Freak. It is essentially the Micro Freak but on steroids or on something legal, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> wherever you are in the world. So what we've got is basically, it's the same sort of sound engine with the multiple oscillators, but it's got six voice polyphony, or as in this patch, 12 voice paraphony. So there's a lot, we can stomp on a lot of notes here and get, and get a lot. There's also three digital effects, which kind of sound a little bit more like what we would get from the, uh, the polybrute sort of area. Some nice digital stuff there. Um, two oscillators per voice, two LFOs, analog multiband filter, which is very much the same thing, uh, plus sequencer. But the thing that I was using here, which are these, instead of the this keyboard, which was a capacitive keyboard, uh, in the uh, Mini Freak, we have an actual keyboard. And the, and the keybed is actually velocity and aftertouch sensitive. It's a little bit of a short travel. But it, but it does give us those things. Anyway, um, these pitch and mod wheels, which can be just that, or they can be assignable macros, and this is a really cool thing. This is morphing. Sorry, I'm getting lost again. So we've got those controls, plus we've got all these front panel controls. Uh, full stereo output, audio in, uh, USB, this comes with the power supply, and we've got the same mod matrix thing that we had, uh, except there's a few more slots, basically. So uh, again, assignable um, parameters, plus this mod matrix where we just sort of move around and then assign what we want in there. So uh, as I'm not able to do a full review, uh, if you've got any questions, I will, I'll definitely have a, a, a longer look at it uh, when um, circumstances allow. I uh, just wanted to make sure that you could hear what it's sounding. So far, I really like what I'm hearing. But please do leave any uh, questions below, and we will endeavour to answer them in the review. Any that we don't make in the review, as ever and is the norm now, we'll put them into our Patreon. Uh, if you're interested in supporting us there, feel free. Right. Let's flip a few more patches. I've got uh, an over. This one's actually patch one, which I think is a pretty good start. So let's try patch two. Why ever not? This is a poly patch. So we get six voices. We can also go into mono mode uh, or uni mode. Uh, again, this brings up the uh, effects that we've got. So just as a quick look, what, what effects do we get in this? We've got, they've got some really nice graphics on this. They've really sort of followed the old, uh, dare I say it, the OP1 vibe. So we've got uh, chorus, flange, phaser, flanger, reverb, distortion, bit crusher, three band EQ, peak EQ, and multi compressor. Very nice, I love these graphics. So. Let's try another. That seems to be adding in bit crush. Not sure what that's doing. Let's see what happens if we put that in uh, uni mode. That's kind of fairly thunderous. I mean, it's again, the thing about the original Microfreak um, had some really good firmware updates. And it's actually a really nice synth. Lots of people, even though it's just purely digital, people really kind of like, well, purely digital, I say, it's got the analog filter, the digital voicing. Uh, remember there were some uh, sort of mutable instruments uh, um, algorithms in here, and there are the similar number of, uh, of them in this. If we just, if I bring this up again, and I bring the overlay over, let's go, uh, let's just, I'll, I'll go quickly to uh, an init preset. Uh, basic waves. And so we've got those kind of three uh, settings plus a volume control, which is actually different because obviously there's two oscillators. Super wave. High. 
harmonics. Some lovely ones here. Carpler Strong, which I think is the basis of that first patch. Wave Shaper and Analog, or VA Analog, Wave Shaper. Two Op FM. Some lovely tones in there. Foreman. Nice Foreman filter. And Modal, I like this one as well. Get some real inner harmonic temp uh, tumbles with it. Then a noise. Some really interesting noise here. This is a good one. I actually I created a few patches with this because it's got allows you to bring all this sort of randomness. Let's see if I can find the patches on this. I think I went seven six. Maybe it was six seven. Uh, here we go, two six seven. These are the patches I made using that. And uh, in this one, I'm actually modulating the uh, tomba with the uh, one of the two LFOs. And then I made another one. I'm using this shaping, the macros. But because I'm in paraphonic mode. Feels like I can play endless notes. Uh, what am I doing in the effects? I've got a peaky cue because actually the filter I'm using in here is a high pass filter. And then I'm using the peaking. Whoops. Let me, re Let me reload that. What am I using? I'm using the peaky cue. Effectively roll off more top end. And I think the macro here. So I'm already, uh, you know, I've literally had this open for maybe, I don't know, an hour. <laughs> and I've just been flipping through a few things. I know there's a lot more to cover uh, and I'm not, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get them with this. But like I say, let's just do some more preset flipping. So I'll come back to, um, let's bring the uh, overlay on. I'll come back to uh, the, the start point. Uh, where do we get to? We got to... <laughs> Mono voice. After touch is effect opening out the kind of the filter. That's lovely, actually. Let's see what this was. Oh my lord! Plenty of distortion in there. I guess that must be one of the effects. Yeah, let's have an effects too. Well, there's three. Two lots of distortion in that one. That's monstrous. Okay, let's have another look at this one. This was quite nice. This is using the sequencer because we've got an onboard sequencer, which I think is up to 64 steps. I thought maybe it was using that bass uh, model, but it's actually using... Uh, basic waves and a, no a noise os. I have to say, I mean, in the room, I hope this is coming across on the speed. It, it feels very wide stereo, and there's a lot of, you know, there's a, certainly a decent amount of frequency here. They've got, we've got obviously with this guy, this was only a mono out on a single uh, jack, but then we've got a, a full stereo output here. So it just gives us, it just sounds like a different thing. Right, let's uh, flip another preset. Yeah, we've got the sequence going. I 
could switch steps on and off, which is actually quite nice and performative. <laughs> is massive oh my lord <laughs> all right next one gigasaur <laughs> yeah that's it there's a lot of noise there i wonder what that's going on with that multi-comp i think that possibly is what if I turn that? Yeah, so so that's squishing it, but it's also bringing up noise. To be honest, what I'm finding with these strips, I, I I'm keeping it in macro mode because I just love I love that kind of uh, the expression, the extra stuff you get with these. And if we go into keyboard mode, oh yeah, the LED colors change. That's kind of it. Right, let's uh, see what else we got. Geiger. Oh, that's nice. You can see the display, I mean, while yes, it is small, it does get a lot across it. It's quite neat, actually, because if I wanted to assign, I just press that and then I would go, OK, what do I want to? Let's let's have filter. And uh, oh, actually, I'll do it for this one. Uh, so let's do that one. Uh, shift, and then we'll go filter, loads. Come out of there. Oh, I've, I've assigned it to the wrong one. But I, as I said, I haven't, haven't quite got the hang of this yet, but it's very quick and easy to assign those uh, modulation slots with the macros. And you've got, effectively, if we go here, three, is it three or four? I think there's four slots per, and you can go into positive and negative amounts, which is actually kind of cool. Right, let's have another preset. Come out of there. Guess this is using a delay phase of multi comp again. They seem to use that a lot. I guess that squishes. I think this must be uh, LFO routings here. So we've got LFO going to assign one, which is pitch. Yeah. And we've got a number of different parameters into the LFO. Nice programming I'm finding so far. Let's see. Interesting. That's a uh, uni unison sound. Plat include. Well, there's a bit of Blue Nile, isn't there? Just a mono sound. That's nice. I mean, these effects do sound pretty tasty, and there's a lot of stereo width there. I, I mean, this is really... Um, I think the last synth I got this, you know, I got such a great feeling from, I think, was the uh, Minilog XD. This has the similar sort of... So, I mean, it's more hot, more digital, but it's got a sort of similar sonic world, but obviously get more voices up to 12 in paraphonic mode. So the arc going. That's interesting. Basic waves and a two op FM. sounds these I guess this is going to be most massive isn't it yeah 
yeah, some really kind of... got the display hanging around over the top here so really not it's very small but it is crystal clear what's this one couple of distortions in here. No, one distortion. Interesting. Yeah, I'm liking what I'm hearing so far. I mean, I could just flip through all the presets and it'd be kind of fun, but there will be other people out there with their reviews done. I'm, once again, apologies for not hitting that deadline, but I will get round to it as uh, soon as I can. Uh, obviously, if you have any questions, do leave them in the comments below. This is available now. It's announced today. It's available at 599 or six, um, euros or dollars. I don't know what the pound price is, because obviously that's a little bit fluid at the moment, shall we say. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.